Hello, this is Gresh from Blue 16 Media and CB Nation, and this is the two minute drill that's going to focus on how to take your website after you update it to WordPress 5.0. And sometimes, if you're using a website builder like a Visual Composer um, or a Divi, sometimes it will conflict with the new update to WordPress. So, there's actually a plugin called Classic Editor that you can install that will basically remove Gutenberg, which is the built in now WordPress website builder that you can add on that will be added on automatically. But you can basically install this on your website as an additional plugin. And what it will do is remove Gutenberg and it will put that Classic Editor back. So, if you're having issues with any conflicts of any websites, then you can definitely make sure that you go through the, to do that. And what you're going to do is basically just sign into your website. And after you sign into your website, it's going to take you directly to the back end of your website. And you'll see that there. Um, or is going to be a conflict when you know you're trying to update the actual site itself so after it updates what you're simply going to do is you're gonna go to the plugin and you're gonna add a new plugin you're gonna search for classic editor and you're simply going to install it and after you install it make sure to activate it And so now when you go to any of the pages, what it should do is remove any of the issues that you have or any conflicts that you have on the website. So that should allow you to be able to make the updates and changes within the website builder you were using, whether it's Visual Composer or something else that you were using, but you'll be able to make those updates now.